Today we're learning how to find the derivatives using the product rule. <laughs> using the product rule, the derivative d over dx of f of x times g of x is equal to f prime of x times g of x plus f of x times g prime of x. Here are the first three examples. Differentiate each function with respect to x. Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Question number one. Y is equal to negative x cubed times 3x to the fourth minus 2. For this problem, negative x cubed is our f of x and 3x to the 4th minus 2 is our g of x. So now let's find the derivative y prime or dy over dx. So the first thing that we need to do is find the derivative of f of x and then multiply it by g of x. Plus, this time we'll do the derivative of g of x and then multiply it by the first f of x. So what is the derivative of negative x cubed? That is negative 3x squared. Then multiply by g of x, and this is 3x to the 4th minus 2. Plus, we need to get the derivative of 3x to the 4th minus 2, and the derivative of 3x to the 4th is 12x cubed. The derivative of constant is 0. And multiply by the f of x, negative x cubed. Doing distributive property, negative 3x squared times 3x to the 4th is negative 9x to the 6th, negative 3x squared times negative 2, that's plus 6x squared. Multiplying 12x cubed and negative x cubed, we have negative 12x to the 6th. Combining like terms, negative 9x to the 6th and negative 1x to the 6th, that is negative 21x to the 6th, plus 6x squared. So the answer for number 1 is y prime is equal to negative 21x to the 6 plus 6x squared. Question number 2. y is equal to negative 2x to the 4th minus 3 multiplied by negative 2x squared plus 1. The first one is our f of x and the second is our g of x. So now let's find the derivative y prime or dy over dx. Using the product rule, we need to find first the derivative of f of x and then multiply it by g of x. Plus the derivative of g of x multiplied by the f of x. So what do you think is the derivative of f of x? The derivative of f of x is negative 8x cubed. And then multiply it by negative 2x squared plus 1. Plus, what's the derivative of g of x? The derivative of g of x is negative 4x. Multiplied by f of x, and that is negative 2x to the 4th minus 3. Now let's do distributive property. Distributing negative 8x cubed, we will have 16x to the 5th minus 8x cubed. Distributing negative 4x, we will have plus 8x to the 5th plus 12x. Now combining like terms, we can combine 16x to the 5th and 8x to the 5th. So we will have 24x to the 5th minus 8x cubed plus 12x. So the answer for number 2 is y prime is equal to 24x to the 5th minus 8x cubed plus 12x. Question number 3 y is equal to negative 2x to the 4th plus 5x squared plus 4 multiplied by negative 3x squared plus 2. So the first parentheses is our f of x and the second is our g of x. So to find y prime, we need to use the product rule. First, we need to find the derivative of f of x and then multiply by g of x. Plus, the derivative of g of x multiplied by our f of x. What do you think is the derivative of f of x? 
the derivative is negative 8x cubed plus 10x, and we will use parentheses, multiplied by g of x, negative 3x squared plus 2, plus what they think is the derivative of g of x. The derivative of g of x is negative 6x, multiplied by f of x, negative 2x to the fourth, plus 5x squared plus 4. Now let's do distributive property. Distributing negative 8x cubed, we will have 24x to the fifth minus 16x cubed. Distributing 10x, we will have negative 30x cubed plus 20x. Distributing negative 6x, we will have 12x to the fifth minus 30x cubed minus 24x. Now let's combine like terms. We can combine 24x to the fifth and 12x to the fifth. That's 36x to the fifth. Then we will have negative 16x cubed, negative 30x cubed, and negative 30x cubed. That's negative 76x cubed. And lastly, we have 20x and negative 24x, which is negative 4x. So the answer for number 3 is y prime equals 36x to the 5th minus 76x cubed minus 4x. Now it's your turn to try these three problems. Differentiate each function with respect to x. Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Question number 4. x squared is your f of x, and negative 3x squared minus 2 is your g of x. So now we will find the derivative f prime of x. Using the product rule, we need to find first the derivative of x squared, which is 2x, and then multiply by negative 3x squared minus 2. Plus, now we need to find the derivative of g of x, negative 3x squared minus 2, and that will be negative 6x, multiplied by f of x, x squared. Now let's do distributive property. Distributing 2x, we will have negative 6x cubed. 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x. Distributing negative 6x, we will have negative 6x cubed. Combining like terms, negative 6x cubed and negative 6x cubed, that's negative 12x cubed, and then we have minus 4x. So the answer for number 4 is f prime of x is equal to negative 12x cubed minus 4x. Question number 5. f of x equals negative 3 plus x to the power of negative 3 times negative 4x cubed plus 3. The first parentheses is our f of x, and the second is your g of x. So now let's find the first derivative f prime of x. Using the product rule, we need to find first the derivative of f of x. Derivative of constant is 0. Derivative of x to the negative 3 is negative 3 x to the power of negative 4. Multiplied by negative 4x cubed plus 3. g prime is the derivative of g of x and that will be negative 12x squared, multiplied by f of x, negative 3, plus x to the power of negative 3. Now let's distribute negative 3x to the power of negative 4. We will have positive 12x to the power of negative 1, minus 9x to the power of negative 4. Now let's distribute negative 12x squared, we will have plus 36x squared minus 12x to the power of negative 1. Combining like terms, 12x to the negative 1 and negative 12x to the negative 1, that's 0. So the highest power is 36x squared. And minus 9x to the negative 4 is the same thing as minus 9 over x to the 4th. So the answer for number 5 is f prime of x equals 
36x squared minus 9 over x to the 4th. Question number 6. x to the 4th plus 3 multiplied by negative 4x to the 5th plus 5x to the 4th plus 5. The first parentheses is our f of x. The second is our g of x. So now let's find the derivative y prime or dy over dx. Using the product rule, we need to find first the derivative of f of x. The derivative of x to the fourth plus 3 is 4x cubed multiplied by the g of x. Plus, the derivative of g of x is negative 20x to the fourth plus 20x cubed multiplied by f of x, x to the fourth plus 3. Now let's do distributive property. We will have negative 16x to the 8 plus 20x to the 7 plus 20x cubed. And now we will distribute negative 20x to the 4th. We will have negative 20x to the 8 minus 60x to the 4th. Distributing 20x cubed, we will have 20x to the 7 plus 60x cubed. Now let's combine like terms. We can combine negative 16x to the 8 and negative 20x to the 8. That's negative 36x to the 8. Then we have 20x to the 7 plus 20x to the 7. That is plus 40x to the 7. We have minus 60x to the 4th. And we can also combine 20x cubed and 60x cubed, which is 80x cubed. So this is the answer for number 6. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.